Okay, so here we're going to have a look at how we turn different shapes um, into files that are ready for a laser cutter. So we're going to have a look at a few different shapes and the main point here when we're actually sending files to our laser cutter is that everything is set up um, as a path. So when we um, start to break these shapes up and give them the correct blue uh, line, three point, three point line around the outside, um, then we'll see uh, how some of these shapes behave a bit more differently. So we're going to go ahead and um, work on the star first. So basically to turn the star into a shape that would be cut out, we would simply remove the fill. So switch the fill to a stroke. Okay. And then in the point size of that stroke, change it from one point to point three points. Okay. And then we need to input this color that we can see here, the 0000, zero, zero FF. So if we, with our star shape selected, double click here, type this in, okay, we have this pure blue um, which the laser cutter will recognize and cut out. So if we have a look here at the, the layers panel, what we have, then what we're seeing here is this star shape um, is a path, okay. The letters here are still uh, letters and then we have another a uh, star path and uh, a circle here. So we're going to have a look at now what happens when we combine these two shapes. I'm going to use this circle to punch a hole um, in the star behind it. And actually you don't need to, to do this but this is the way that you would combine shapes in Illustrator. So if you take those two shapes, bring your Pathfinder up, go to Window, Pathfinder if you don't see it, okay, and then we're going to use the shape modes to punch a hole in that shape. Now what this does is it creates a, a compound path um, here, so rather than two paths, one for the circle and one for the star, um, it actually confuses the laser cutter by um, having this kind of compound path. So what we can do is we can either um, just not worry about um, combining those paths in Illustrator, we can actually just highlight those two shapes and then using the eyedropper tool we can go to a shape that we've already set up. So this star already has the, the point three point and the blue around the outside. That's already set up. So now we can see that we have those two shapes. So each one of those, if I highlight them, um, is a path rather than a compound path or anything like that. If you see compound path um, in the in this section here um, in the layers, then you want to break it apart so it's not a compound path. I'm just going to move this there now. So for letters, if we are making shapes from letters, we'd first of all go to create outlines, so turn our letters into outlines, okay, and then you'll see we have this group here, that's all of our letters, okay, so now we're going to go to object ungroup, okay, so we get all of these letters, and you can see here in each of these letters we have that compound path um, set up, so in order to cut these out we need to turn them into pure paths rather than compound paths, so I'm going to go to object compound path and release and that's going to change all those shapes so the the center parts of the letters and everything like that into compound paths and once I've done that I can grab the eyedropper tool select a shape that already has the settings and now I have that perfect uh, blue line around the outside okay so basically the laser cutter will only go around the blue line um, where you, you place it okay and then we have a different typeface here as well you can do the same type create outlines and then object ungroup, object compound path and release and you can see now we have a path for each of those those shapes okay so I'll grab my eyedropper tool again and set these to 0 0.3 points and then the 0000, 0, 0, 0 ff color okay so the key thing here now is that if we look at the layers panel all of these shapes that we can see here are paths rather than um, compound paths or shape layers or anything like that. So however we're combining our shapes or anything like that, we want these to be um, just one shape. Also if you're copying and pasting things and you accidentally copy and paste two paths, one on top of another like this, then the laser cut will go over that twice and that can cause uh, some issues um, as well. Okay, so basically look to the layers panel, make sure everything in your shapes is set up as paths rather than compound paths or groups um, and then everything should be fine 
And if you're not sure whether you've got one layer on top of another, then just drag that and move it and it will um, separate them out. Okay. We also have the option uh, for some shapes as well. So if we select a, an ellipse tool, okay, and we flip this so that it's a, an outline or a thicker outline, so I say of five point here, okay, then when we actually are working on that, we can change that outline to be a, a shape. So if I go to object, path, and then outline stroke, it's actually going to outline that stroke. So basically it's making two shapes um, there. So that won't allow the laser cutter to, to work that well um, when it's looking for those blue outlines. So really what you need to do is make sure that you don't have um, one shape within, an, within another um, where your paths are. Okay, let's delete that. Okay, so make sure everything's a path and then you should be good to go.